Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing the quick solutions of all India Akash test series J Advanced Test 1A Paper 2 which was held on 16th June 2019. So let us start with equation number 37 which says that let F which goes from R to R, G also goes from R to R and H also goes from R to R with three continuous functions such that G of Fx is equal to X and H of G of Gx is equal to X. If fx is equal to x cube plus 5x plus 3, then we have to answer the following questions, right? So, it's a multiple choice questions. So, let us start it. It has been given that h of g of gx, this is equal to x. So, if we replace here x by fx, so we will get h of g of g of fx, that is equal to x. So, we will get here directly x. So, this is equal to fx. Now, again, replacing x by fx, we will get h of g of fx, that is again x. So, this is equal to f of fx. So, this is the function hx that we have obtained. Now, let's talk about h of 1 first. h of 1, that will be equal to f of f of 1, that is f of 5 plus 3 plus 1 that is f of 9. So that will be equal to 9 cube plus 45 plus 3 that is equal to 777. Now it can be seen that 37 is a divisor of it. So option number B is correct. Now let's talk about h of 0. h of 0 will be equal to f of f of 0 that is 3. That will be equal to 3 cube plus 15 plus 3 which will be equal to 45. So, 9 is a divisor of it. So, this option is also correct, right? Now, if we talk about h of 1 into h of 0, now multiplying these two will certainly will not be equal to 1665, right? So, this option is incorrect. Also, number of real roots of hx equal to 0. Now, this is a 1 1 function. So, f of fx will also be a 1 1 function, which means that number of real roots will be 1. So, option number a will also be correct. So, correct answers are A, B and C option. Next, let's discuss question number 38, which says that the domain of function fx equal to secant inverse x plus cosecant inverse x plus under root 9 minus x square plus ln x is alpha comma beta is alpha up till beta. Let another function, gx is also given, where x belongs from alpha square up till beta square. So, we have to answer the following questions. Firstly, let's find the domain of fx. For this function to be defined, mod of x should be greater than or equal to 1. For this to be defined, 9 minus x square should be greater than or equal to 0. That is, x square minus 9 is less than or equal to 0, which means that x will belong from minus 3 up till 3. Also, for ln x to be defined, x should be greater than 0. So, taking intersection of 1, 2 and 3, we will get that x will belong from 1 to 3, right? This is the domain which means that value of alpha is equal to 1 and value of beta is equal to 3, right? So, we can say that some of the integral values in the domain of fx is 1 plus 2 plus 3, that is 6. So, this option is incorrect. Now, let's find range of gx, right? So, x is going from 1 up till 9 for that interval cos of pi x mod it will go from 0 to 1 so 26 times this will go from 0 to 26 so we can say that 1 plus 26 times mod cos pi x will go from 1 up till 27 which means that gx will belong from 0 up till 3 right so this is the range of gx so sum of all the integral values will again be 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 that will be equal to 6 so this option is also incorrect now in option number c we have to find the value of cosecant inverse cosecant beta cube that is 27 plus secant inverse secant of alpha raised to the power 5 that is 1 so this is simply 1 and 
value of cosecant inverse cosecant 27. How can we find it? Firstly, we will make the graph of cosecant inverse cosecant x. For x equal to 27, we will see the value will be equal to 9 pi minus 27 plus 1. So, that is equal to 9 pi minus 26, which means that option number C is the correct choice. Also, checking option number D, which says that secant inverse, secant of 1 plus 9, that is 10, plus cos inverse, cos of 15, right? So, this will be equal to 4 pi minus 10 plus, here we will get 15 minus 4 pi. So, this will give us 5, which means that option number D is also the correct choice. So, option number C and D are the correct answers. Next is question number 39, which says that let a function fx is equal to modulus of sine pi x divided by 1 plus fractional part of x plus fractional part of minus x. So, we have to answer the following questions, right? So, firstly, we should know that value of fractional part of x plus minus x fractional part, it will be equal to 0 when x belongs to an integer, right? And in all other cases, its value will be equal to 1, that is for x belonging to r minus z, right? So, let's make graph of this function. Its graph will be something like this. Right? Where these points are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this is 0, 1 by 2. I hope this is clear. So, from here we can see that the range of fx is 0 to 1 by 2 closed. So, this option will be incorrect. Now, fundamental period, it can be seen that fundamental period is 1. So, this option will be correct. Now, to find the number of solutions with y equal to x by 10, we can see that at x equal to 5, the value will be half. So, the line will go something like this. So, we can say that the number of solutions of this will be 10. So, we can say that option number C is the correct choice. Now, also, if we talk about x upon 5, so we can say that at x equal to 5 by 2, that is 2.5, the value will be half. So, the graph is something like this. So, here we can see that clearly option number D is the incorrect choice. So, answer of this question will be option number B and C option. Next is question number 40, which says that let fx is equal to 3 by 2 plus under root of x minus 7 by 4 and gx is the inverse of fx. Then we have to answer the following questions. Now, it has been given that gx is equal to f inverse x or we can say that g inverse x is equal to fx. So, putting it here, we can see that f inverse of g inverse 17 it will be equal to 17 itself, right? Now, simply we have to find the value of cosecant inverse, cosecant 17. That by plotting the graph of cosecant inverse, cosecant x, we can see that its value will be 5 pi minus 17, right? Now, let's find the value of g of 4. For that, we have to firstly find the inverse of this function. So, inverse, that is gx, will be equal to x minus 3 by 2 whole square plus 7 by 4. This is gx. So, the value of g of 4 will be equal to, putting x equal to 4 here, we will get it equal to 8, right? So, its value is equal to 8. Now, we have to find the fundamental period of hx. Now, to find its period, let's find h of x plus 8. That will be equal to, when we put here x plus 8, then this will be converted into cos pi x divided by 16 and the second term will convert in sin pi x divided by 16. So, it is same as hx which means that its period is 8. So, this option will be correct. Now, let's find the period of px. Its period will directly be 2 pi divided by pi by 4 that is again equal to 8. So, this option is also 
let's talk about option number d it says that the graphs of fx and gx intersect each other on the line y equal to x at two distinct points now to find these points let's put fx equal to x so we will get x minus 3 by 2 whole square equal to x minus 7 by 4 where x minus 7 by 4 should be greater than equal to 0 right so here solving this further we will get x square minus 4x plus 4 equal to 0 that is x minus 2 whole square equal to 0 that is x equal to 2 is the only point so we can say that they are not intersecting at two distinct points so this option is incorrect so answer of this question will be a b and c option next is question number 41 which says that if a polynomial function f going from r minus 0 up till r it satisfies the given relation and f of 4 is equal to 2 5 7 then we have to answer the following questions right so let's firstly find some of the series it's a geometric progression so we can say 3 plus 3 by 4 plus 3 by 16 and so on it will be equal to a upon 1 minus r that is 3 divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 that is equal to 3 divided by 3 by 4 that is 4 so we have log 3 fx is equal to log to the base 3 4 multiplied with log to the base 4 1 plus fx divided by f of 1 by x right so we can write directly fx equal to 1 plus fx divided by f of 1 by x so multiplying by f of 1 by x on both sides we will get fx into f of 1 by x minus f of 1 by x minus fx let's add 1 on both sides so we will get plus 1 equal to 1 so from here we can see fx minus 1 multiplied with f of 1 by x minus 1 is equal to 1 so from here we can say that fx function would rather be equal to 1 plus minus x raised to the power n where n belongs to natural number now it has been given that f of 4 is equal to 2 5 7 which means that fx is equal to 1 plus x raised to the power 4 so this is the function fx that we have obtained so now find the value of f of 5 minus f of 2 and we will see that it will be equal to 6 0 9 so option number a will be the correct choice And option number C says that it's a many one function, so this is also correct. Option number D says that it's a own two function. That is not true because it's always greater than equal to one, which means that it is not equal to codomain, so this option is incorrect. So answer is option number A and C. Next is question number 42, which says that if fx and gx are linear functions such that for all x, f of gx and g of fx are identity functions, if f of zero is equal to seven, and g of 3 is equal to minus 2 then we have to answer the following questions right so these are linear functions so we can easily take fx equal to ax plus b but f of 0 is 7 so we can take it as ax plus 7 also gx can be taken equal to bx plus c but it's given that g of 3 is minus 2 which means that minus 2 is equal to 3b plus c so we can write it as bx plus c can be written as minus 2 minus 3b right now it has been given that f of gx is equal to x so we can say that a into gx that is bx minus 2 minus 3b plus 7 is equal to x so comparing on both sides we can say that AB will be equal to 1 and minus 2A minus 3AB plus 7 is equal to 0. So putting here AB equal to 1, so we will get minus 2 plus 4 equal to 0. That is minus 2A is equal to minus 4. That is A is equal to 2. So B will be equal to 1 by 2. Hence the function fx 
is equal to 2x plus 7 and the function gx that will be equal to x by 2 minus 2 minus 3 by 2. So that is equal to x minus 7 divided by 2. So this is fx and gx. So f of 5 will be equal to 17. That is correct. And g of 135 will be equal to 128 upon 2. That is 64. So this is also correct. And fundamental period of cos of fx. That is cos of 2x plus 7. Its fundamental period will be pi. So this is incorrect. And fundamental period of sin of x minus 7 by 2. Its fundamental period will be 2 pi divided by 1 by 2. That is equal to 4 pi. So option number D is also correct. Which means that A, B, D are the correct choice.